nearly missed. Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. This is a 2.1 C220D AMG line, Premium Plus. 7G Tronic gearbox, Euro 6 engine, 2016 on a 66 plate. Really nice condition. Has done 50,922 miles. It's MOT till the 16th of the 8th, 2023. It was last serviced on the 15th of the 1st, 2022 at 42,524 miles. Fuel economy, urban 50.4 miles per gallon, extra urban 70.6 miles per gallon, and combined is 62.8 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 145 miles per hour out of 168 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. So. Even though I nearly dropped the key, I, I don't really need it. It's, uh, as long as you've got the key on you in your pocket somewhere, it has keyless entry, keyless lock, also keyless go if you want it to have keyless go. So I just come back to the car, put your hand behind the door handle uh, and that's it, you, you're good to go. So we've got the sill protectors there, it, it's got, I can't make my mind up about the tinted windows. I don't know whether it's got extra tint on or, or not, but you'll have to decide whether you like it or not. Uh, it's a little bit too dark for me, but it's obviously popular with other people because the, the, the cars you see driving around with the, the, as somebody said the other week, gangster glass, um, getting more and more popular. So anyway, that, that's up to you. So the AMG style, five twin spoke alloy wheels, Diamond cut and dark silver, they're, they're all good. Has the Mercedes-Benz LED high performance uh, headlamps, side running lights, the big Mercedes emblem there in the, the chrome trimmed grill, chrome trimmed front spoiler to match, front parking sensors, chrome window surrounds. It's also got the chrome trims on the door handles it's a tilt and slide glass panoramic sunroof as well. Um, opening panel over the driver, and then you've got the glass panel over the rear seats. So it makes it nice, light and airy inside. I'll, I'll show you that inside. Power open, power closed boot. Works from the key and also the little switch inside. You can drop the back seat just like so. Nice big deep boot as well. Um, we've got just in here, there's a reversing camera, which actually, uh, which is handy today, to be honest, because there's that much spray on the motorway. All the back end is, is covered in uh, road film. The reversing camera tucks away until you select reverse and then it, it comes down. So good idea. You can, you can put it down to clean it as well if it does get dirty accidentally. Got the reversing sensors in the rear bumpers and the two chrome exhaust tips. The seats, I, I'm assuming it's Artico leather, the Mercedes man-made um, imitation leather, which is supposed to be easier to clean and more hard wearing than leather, but the jury's out on that to be honest. This kind of black ash finish that I've got my seat where I would normally have it, so it's it's not that bad. Headroom is pretty good as well. Um, we've got the Isofix rear child seat anchor points in the back there, and this rear centre armrest, and uh, also the the person who owned its uh, hoodie, who uh, we'll have to get that back to him. He left it on the back parcel shelf. Rear over mat, like new in the back, um, contrast stitching. It has the Burmeister sound system. The speakers are fantastic. The, uh, if you like music, it's absolutely excellent. Uh, I'll try and play some in, in a short while. Having said that, of course, it will only give you the right impression if you've got Burmeister speakers on your computer or your mobile phone. But take it from me, it's really good. I'll just take you for riding it.
that's the mercedes-benz key as i say as long as you've got it on you um whoops you've got well you can have that plugged into the ignition lock if you have that in you don't you just need the key in your pocket and then foot on the brake press the switch and that's it um like so you'll see the reversing camera there and as you turn the steering wheel the yellow lines show you basically where you're going to go and what you're going to hit if you carry on so reversing camera you've also got the kind of the, the partronic reversing sensors in the roof at the back um orange lights as you start going closer to something like so it's showing me it's giving me giving me a, a visual display you, i'm not sure whether you'll be able to see from that camera but up in the roof there anyway i won't go any closer because there's some sheep around there so here we go let's get going just go through this stuff it's electric memory seats three positions i think i've set my one but like So that's somebody who's been driving, position three. And there's position one for me. So pretty good, jump in the car. Having said that, I don't think I've got it. I don't think I've set the mirrors. So I'll just do that before I set off. And then memory, position one, and that's it changed. We'll get going. Nothing coming. Away we go. I'm going to say it's got lumbar support as well. There's a little round control on the sides of the seat. Um, not that. I think that's moving the headrest. Yep. Yeah. So it's very well equipped i have to say um so my, my favorite accessory probably is the the burmeister the sound uh, in this car um got heated seats got bluetooth hands-free bluetooth audio streaming uh sat nav click the sat nav on you can either do it for it through here and uh this uh, the chap that part exchanged this car his ears would have been burning the other day. He bought uh, he bought a C43 off us, C43 AMG, which was absolutely mint, perfect. And I got in this to do the radio, uh, you know, show people how to do the radio and uh, set the Bluetooth and so on. And this thing won't work. And I, I mean. It's useless anyway, don't get me wrong, it's absolutely useless. But customers, even if it is useless and they're never going to use it in their, in their life, they'll still want it working. So it wouldn't work and I was, I was cursing. And then I discovered in the settings, you can actually knock that on and off. Now the reason I don't like that is it's, it's a trackpad. And there you go, just, you, you're always just about to click something or move it and you go over a bump and you click it and it, it's the wrong thing so you're always going back all the time i far prefer this rotary control here where you can you can knock it back towards you push it away from you knock it to the side i'm just see then I, I went over a bump and my thumb hit the on off switch <laughs> so that's you know <laughs> if if there wasn't if there wasn't a saying like that's that's probably just a bit better you know it's as much use as an ashtray on a motorbike or it's as much use as a chocolate teapot well it, it's as much use as a track pad in a in a car that that's i don't know i think that actually usurps all the others so you know it's all right when you're sat still just about but when you when you're driving i suppose you shouldn't be using it when you're driving perhaps Perhaps that's the yeah, uh, that's the answer. But car's lovely. Drives very very nice. I 
can't just get. I, I always go down here as well for the uh, seat controls, um, which brings me to design. It's very good here. You can you can see some some cars you can't find the bits when you're searching down here, but you can see here um, the Mercedes gear selector. Take some getting used to if you've not driven a Mercedes Benz before, you do get used to it pretty soon. But I'm 64, I've never owned a teapot in my life until yesterday. I suddenly decided I, I like to have a cup of tea in the morning, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cut down on caffeine which I go to Starbucks every morning and have a, a four shot latte, which doesn't do me any good if I'm honest. So I decided that I'll make a cup of tea in the morning and I'll also fill up my travel mug with tea. So I got a six, a six cup teapot. Now a teapot, you know, cars, they, they have to suit little people, big people, fat people, thin people, and various styles of driving, people with long legs, short legs, long arms, short arms. They, they've got to be able to, to get in and drive the vehicle. Now, a teapot, it's got one handle, so you can either use it that way, and it's symmetrical, so... You know, it doesn't look any different from either side. It has one purpose, and the one purpose is to brew tea and pour it. And would you believe, after how many hundreds of years people have been drinking tea out of tea pots in the British Empire, I can't, I can't pour the tea without it dribbling down the spout and dripping off it and making a big puddle. Now, that, that's... It just has one thing to do. It doesn't matter how tall you are, how small you are, how thin or fat you are with a teapot. It just has one purpose. And the teapot designers can't even get that right. So I'm going to go a bit easier on uh, motor car designers in future. I, th I now think they do a sterling job. So this drives. I was very impressed. It has got, we, we come out here, I do 70 miles in them. When I do get to video them, when, it, when they, I get a chance to video them before they sell, which doesn't always happen, which is a good thing again, um, but I'm not complaining about that. The only thing is, what I do like to do is come out in the car, drive it, get it up to operating temperature, make sure there's no overheating problems, no issues, no, no knocks or anything. This has got, if I just do that, it's got ventilated front discs, and I do think that the ventilated front discs have a, a tendency to warp more than solid discs, and it, it should be the opposite way around, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what the ventilations are for. It should be to cool them down. But when you don't use the car for a while, the as soon as you use the car after you've not used it, then the, the rust on the surfaces of the disc rubs off. However, it doesn't rub off in the ventilations, in the holes. And I think that, that causes a lot of problems with cars that are low mileage, which aren't used much. So this has got a judder on the front wheels, which will, is, is good for the next customer because we'll have new discs uh, put on the vehicle. That's the only thing I can find so far in the car, which is again is uh, is a tremendous thing. But it's it's so nice. The engine is pretty powerful. It's got lots of low end torque, pulling up hills like this effortlessly, and the fuel economy is fantastic. Now, I did watch a programme the other day. People will know that 
I don't like electric cars. Um, I've got to admit, I was, I was editing a video while I was listening to this program, so I don't. I'm going to watch it again tonight. But uh, it was basically saying that electric cars aren't as good for the environment or people than you might think they are. So uh, watch this space. Diesels, the, with the particulate filter now and, and so on. Just look at the road taxes on them. They, they, they're for nothing. And that's because they're clean air. The sunroof, if I click that, it goes up, it tilts. If I click it back, there you go, opens up. Close it again. Got a shade band as well. Got air conditioning. This does drive very, very nice. Just be careful of these sheep. This is where they all hang round. You can see there just over the brow of this hill. So you can't see them until you get to the brow. And then even then you, you can't really see them because you've got, you've got to wait for your bonnet to dip again. I've, uh, looks like somebody's been doing donuts there. I don't know. I've bowed to uh, popular demand. Um, lots of our viewers. I like driving on country lanes like this. I mean, just look at that. It's just, it's just beautiful. I like driving on country lanes like this, but obviously most people don't get to see the scenery like this in the car every day when they're going to work and, and they're probably on the motorway, so I want to know what it drives like on the motorway. So I've uh, modified my route, that's where I usually go, but there's always somebody parked there when I want to go there, which <laughs> is a bit annoying. So I'll take you down the motorway too. We've got, so I'll show you cruise control on the motorway as well. That's here. The, the weighting and balance of this car as well, it's just superb. Now that sheep is going to do something drastic, so I'm just going to, uh, there you go. Although I don't particularly agree with the green agenda, um, I am an animal lover. And, and the reason I'm not sure I agree with the green agenda is I really don't know what we're saving the planet for because uh, some of the, the people these days, I don't know. And the, the first thing I usually have to do when I go to that car park is pick up all the McDonald's wrappers and put them away so they don't show in my video because everybody else who just goes there eats the McDonald's and lobs all the stuff out the window. That's what we're saving the planet for. Thank you.
see, now the lady coming the other way there, I wasn't driving fast, I never do drive fast because I know about that place. And they're usually coming out at the same time as I'm going past. But even so, using the head and, you know, flagging me down. And, and that, that guy there, big smile on his face. If that had been me, I'd be going, blow me neck, just my luck, you know, just getting the cows out and this bloke comes. <laughs> it's all about your perspective. So the back seats come down, um, little handles in the boot. Just gonna shut that blind. There we've got front centre armrest, that's my phone charger. Just take that out, to be honest. In here, let's just wait till we get over here, all clear. What have we got? We've got two USBs there. I think that's it. Perhaps an SD card slot. So in the end there, the button of the cruise control, that's just here. So if I click up, cruise control, that's set. Knock it down, it decreases the speed. So I'll pull it towards you. There's a car behind me now. You never see any cars on this road unless you want to, to do anything. See, if I was a farmer, I'd have just smiled then and not curse me luck. Nice steering wheel, nice thick grip. The aluminium theme, which looks pretty classy, to be fair. It's the brushed aluminium, insets to the dash. Match the Burmeister speakers, the switches, the door handles, and this, the three bars, the three spokes on the steering wheel. Even round, there you go, your cup holders, and your 12 volt power socket. Got this matte finish wood or satin finished I would say in wood I'm going to let this chap overtake me because he's getting on my nerves. And now there's another car behind me. <laughs> wow. So here we go, the home button on the steering wheel on the left hand side. Right hand side, that is your telephone controls also your volume for your speaker you can fast forward tracks on the audio player here so long as you've got it on media in the center it's just saying bluetooth audio there if i, if I click home i can set that there's the trip click on the trip 
done 41 miles this morning at an average of 37.6 miles per gallon but it has been sat there ticking over while I've been photographing it so if I knock down let's see for you there's the eco display consumption it's also showing the charge is harvesting back um, if I take my foot off the accelerator, goes into green, showing the charge and your fuel consumption, that's instantaneous display. It means nothing. I don't know why they do it. Click again. And that's the digital speedo. That's the best thing. No ambiguity about your uh, the vagueness of your speed. There we go. And click the home button again. Navi radio media. Click media. It says Bluetooth audio device paused. It's synced to my phone and should play uh, my song library I have to say customers you know <laughs> it's not easy it's not easy dealing with some people. We had a chap come the other day and we've got a 16 year old BMW which is a lovely car. We put it through the MOT. There's a couple of advisories. We don't send cars out with advisories even though it's 16 years old and most other dealers do. It, there was an advisor on the brake discs or something and, and, and we, we did it. We, we put new tyres on it. They were a bit marginal. They were okay, but marginal. So we put new tyres, discs and so on. And a chap came to buy it. And uh, I, I went in on my day off to do something else. And John was talking to this chap. And, and John is the most easygoing person in the world. I've said before, you know, if you wind John, I can't wind John up, and I'm, I'm the hardest person to work with ever. And uh, I had to go out of the office because he was he was annoying me. <laughs> anyway, he ended up he didn't buy the car because everything else was fine. He didn't buy the car because the cigarette lighter, the power sockets weren't working. And uh, his point of view was that, and I, I, can, I can understand his point of view, I can't un understand his point of view <laughs> from our perspective, but he said, well, if you haven't checked the cigarette lighter, how do I know you've checked everything else? Oh, <laughs> you know, you just have to look at the discs and the tyres and the MOT and, and, <laughs> um, and the condition of the car. We don't check cigarette lighters. You know, I don't know anybody who checks cigarette lighters. And when I say I don't check them, I don't. Ch I hadn't videoed the car. I would have known if I'd been out in it to video it because I would have put, plugged my phone charger in. So, but I, I never got to do it. So I didn't buy it. But the the thing was, both John and myself, when he didn't buy it, we both went few, because we know that he would be a nightmare absolute nightmare and uh, of a customer you know expecting the on a 16 year old car that th there would be absolutely nothing wrong with it <laughs> so we do our best we're not perfect we try our hardest to get everything right the, the car that this chaps bought the discs aren't walked on that he never mentioned the discs walked on this 
I couldn't drive this car for the, the first thing it will happen when we get back here is that the disc will be done. I, I couldn't, I couldn't go out in this car knowing that you get a vibration when you brake. You know, it, it happens, it's no big problem, but I just don't understand people. I really don't. When it comes to brakes, tyres, I don't understand them. Anyway, you'll see there, or you might be able to see from here, there's a red warning triangle. It's a collision warning. I think you can knock that off on here if you want to. Trip, Navi, radio, media, telephone, assistance graphics. Click on assistance graphics. What have you got there? Oh, that's, no, that's good. I, I like that because that's telling you the speed there, uh, the speed limit of wherever you're driving. Attention, assist. Last break, 24 minutes ago, attention level, it's showing high. I don't know how it knows that. Uh, service, no messages, add blue tyre pressure. All good. So we're doing, well, we're doing 60 miles an hour, as is the limit shown at the moment. Red triangle's on again. On the left-hand side, you've got your speedo. 60 miles an hour doesn't, you know, that doesn't apply to that chap there or, or this chap here, because uh, they're more important than everybody else. We're not in a hurry. So just there, you've got your power folding door mirrors, your door mirror control, your electric windows, global locking over here on the screen. If I go to star there, I can, I can use this rotary control Bluetooth, radio, media, telephone. Just click on media. I'm going to turn that down. Then I can. Uh, I can't do anything because that's not on media. So we'll click home again. Find media. Click OK. Now I should be able to change track there. There you go. I saw a little sign or a little uh, <laughs> a little plaque on uh, social media the other day, and it says the kids of today are unhappy because their music sucks. <laughs> uh, I, re I remember. When I used to be playing my records upstairs in my bedroom, my dad had come to the bottom of the stairs and shout, turn that screaming racket down. So I think it's uh, it's like a generation thing. But the music today, Gordon Bennett, it's awful. Right, so let's see. We we're doing we want to do 70. In the end of the cruise control here, if I click that. If I pull it towards me, that's that's gone on to Speedtronic. So I'll click it out, and we're on cruise control. Pull it towards me, and then 70 miles an hour, it just goes up in a, a huge, huge jumps there, or five mile an hour jumps. So we're doing 70. I'm assuming it goes up in huge jumps to catch up with the speed you're doing. Um, not, you know, if I go to knock it up now, 
that's gone up five mile goes down in ones 70 miles an hour and they, that's one of my favorite records in fact I'm just going to put it on a second can't play it for too long otherwise I'll get a copyright strike but what I have noticed is that I can put videos on Instagram and TikTok with a soundtrack I'm not trying to claim anybody's money or earn any money from uh, people's soundtracks or people's songs so um, if you want to hear what it's like or see what it's like driving to your your music then I'll I'll, I'll do a an Instagram stroke TikTok thing if you follow our channel on on either of those two mediums another one Manfred Mann Pretty Flamingo Go on, Bennett, it takes me back. That does take me back. Spencer Davis Group. I mean, I. I went in Starbucks the other day and uh, there was a record playing and it was so bad I had to shazam it to see who would write that absolute garbage but uh, if I remember I'll try, I'll try and cut it in let's see we're coming up to the end of the roadworks anyway now so oh there you go Hang on, let me turn this up. Won't you buy me a Mercedes? There you go. You could have one too. So as you can see on the motorway, it's uh, absolutely beautiful. Nice and smooth. This, this would just eat up the miles. So I forgot to tell you. So there we've got Sport, Sport Plus, Individual, and you can dynamic select there. Individual configuration. There we go. You can change all the different things. There's the engine look. Steering. So click on the engine, click on that, and then I can select. Sport Plus and so on. All stuff that's not needed because the car drives fantastic. <laughs> 